Narada Muni continued. The servants of his many incarnations attain great happiness by serving the Lord's dear to their hearts. The Lord gives them results according to their worship. They are never displeased with what they attain. Who can understand the pastimes where the Lord, whose thoughts are deeper than millions of oceans, enjoys with his devotees in a wonderful exchange of love? Engaging in activities free from rivalry and other faults, and each according to his own nature, whether higher or lower, the devotees attain, as much as they desire, the highest happiness of devotional service. This proves the greatness of the Lord's mercy. The Lord's associates in Vaikuntha, whose forms are eternal and full of knowledge and bliss, do not think the slight happiness of those who live in the world of repeated birth and death, or the slight happiness of the impersonalist sannyasis, to be great happiness. As there are many gradations of service, so there is a wonderful variety of gradations of happiness according to the different mellows, or rasas. Some of the residents of Vaikuntha have been the Lord's associates eternally, and others have come to that position by the Lord's mercy. Sanatana Goswami explains that Sesha and Garuda are examples of those who have been the Lord's associates eternally, and Jai and Vijay, Bharat and Priyavrata, are examples of those who became the Lord's associates by His mercy. Although the bliss of serving the Lord is the same in all circumstances, some think it is different to perform formal service or confidential service, or to be far from the Lord or stand by His side. The natural relationship with the Lord, where He is served and they are His servants, is both real and eternal. Awareness of the sweet bliss of serving Him impels them to become eternal servants of Sri Krishna's lotus feet, which are an ocean of many kinds of inconceivable sweetness. Even if He were not the origin of all incarnations, and even if He were the same as all incarnations, Sri Krishna would still be distinguished by His very sweet glories. Some say that Sri Krishna is the Supreme Brahman, and that all others are his spiritual, liberated associates. Sanatana Goswami explains that the all others here are the devotees headed by Sesha and Garuda. The word liberated here means they who have attained Vaikuntha. Narada concluded, To enjoy the bliss of devotional service, aided by the Lord's transcendental pastime potency, they assume forms suitable for the Lord's pastimes. <laughs>